I am Indy Cowie. I am a professional soccer freestyler, and I am in Texas at AT&T Stadium to break two Guinness World Records. Three, two, one, go. Go. Time. Time. I can tell you, you achieved I've played soccer basically all my life. My, my dad played, my grandpa played, and so as soon as I could walk, I was given a ball and I absolutely just fell in love with it. When I was about 10 or 11, I saw freestyle for the first time. I always enjoyed like spending time with the ball and juggling, but I didn't know you could do tricks. And I was like, this is pretty cool. So it started off, I was just messing around in the backyard, in the garage, at soccer practice. And then when I landed my first trick, it was actually the Around the World, which is one of the records I'm gonna try and break. I was like, I love this. The sensation of like landing a trick, I was hooked. I was 12 years old, I just discovered freestyle, and I was like, this is so much fun. And it literally was just all I did. Like, if I wasn't playing or at school or at a soccer tournament, like, I was just freestyling. I could completely lose myself no matter what was happening. You know, stuff with friends or family, you know, bad day at school, you know, like, you're like 12 year old problems. I could just forget everything and I was just so lost in it. It was like beautiful. I started making videos and I was posting them for friends to see and then they started getting more views than just like my five friends and I was like okay this is cool I'll like post another video. So that's kind of how my freestyle career started but I was still playing soccer at the same time. I went to UNC on a scholarship to play and my freshman year I blew out my ACL. MCL and meniscus. So I was out of the game for a little bit. I had to wait until the semester ended for my swelling to go down and then by that time we were into exams. So I had to wait until that semester was over for me to have surgery. I had the surgery like literally the next day and then jumped into the rehab right after that. And I was in the training room for the first three months for three hours every day. Honestly, it was tougher mentally than it was physically. I could do the rehab all day long. I could do that all day long, but sitting and not being able to touch a ball, it destroyed me. When I first tore my ACL, my, my 17 year old self wasn't like, oh, I'm never gonna play soccer again. Like, of course I'm gonna do all the rehab and jump back in. And of course I'm gonna freestyle and play soccer and it's all gonna be like perfect. It's gonna work out great. And it wasn't until I was nearly done with my ACL rehab, like nine, 10 months later, I was sitting in my bed and I was scrolling through Twitter and I came across a quote that said, the man who chases two rabbits catches neither and it hit me like a, like a sack of potatoes. Like it just slammed me. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm trying to freestyle and I'm trying to do soccer and I'm not able to invest my time into both. And if I keep playing soccer, there's like a super high risk that I'm gonna tear my, AC, my other ACL because I've already done one. And I sat there, I was like, I need to make a decision. I thought about it for a good 10 seconds. It's risky, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try and, and do the freestyle route. So I was at my parents' house and I, I got out of my bed. <laughs> I walked around the hallway and I walked into the room. I knocked the door and I said, I have to tell you something. <laughs> they're like, okay. I was like, I've made my decision. I'm, I'm gonna freestyle. And they're like, okay, we fully support that. I was like, I need to do this. And honestly, I would not be where I am if it wasn't for my family. My family's been there through everything, literally everything. Yeah, I would not be able to do what I'm doing without them. I would not be the person I am without them, and I cannot thank them enough for everything. They've sacrificed so much for me, so for me to be able to break these for them, that means every, literally everything. I think world records are important with freestyle because people are constantly breaking boundaries, breaking limits, pushing what has already been done, and setting a world record or beating a world record just continues to push those limits. I've gone back and forth with someone on one of the records before and it's fun, it, ch it challenges me, it makes me push myself harder and I, I enjoy the challenge. I recently attempted to break the Around the World record for a TV show and I, I didn't do it. I just felt like I couldn't warm up my muscles but I mean, when it comes down to it, I should have just trained harder. That's 100% motivation. I don't ever want to feel like that again. So I've been going to the gym every day. I just go into racquetball court, complete isolation, stick on my headphones. I've got my timer on my phone, and I just have been grinding out these records 
over and over and over and over again until I'm beating it literally almost every time. You know, stretching, foam rolling, making sure I'm eating right, making sure I'm getting enough sleep. There's a mental aspect to that as well. I just, I gotta make sure that I'm using what happened previously with the around the world records, the failure to push myself, but not beating myself up about it. There's a very, very fine line using it as motivation, but not getting too negative and just dancing along that line until you feel fired up and you're ready. I'm excited, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm ready. I've just, I've been playing over and over all the times that I have successfully done this in training and all the successful attempts. I'm just focusing on all the positive right now, all the support I have. Just gotta get a good night's sleep. My name is Philip Robertson. I'm an adjudicator with Guinness World Records. We are here at AT&T Stadium for two Guinness World Records titles today. Most touches of a football with the soles of the feet in one minute by a female and most round the worlds in one minute by a female as well. Let's introduce our participant, Indy Cowie, pro soccer freestyler. Nice to see you, Indy. How are you feeling? Good. Good, you're looking confident. I think you've got this. We need to make sure that we get all the rules followed and you've got 136 of the Guinness World Records title to beat held by Laura Biondi from Venezuela. For the Guinness World Records title, for the most touches of a soccer ball with the soles of your feet in one minute, three, two, one, go. Time. After conferring with the slow-mo camera and reviewing the evidence a couple of times, I can tell you, you achieved... ...200, and you're gonna spot records title. Congratulations, really well done, Indy. Brilliant, really well done. I've got with me a Guinness World Records certificate. I'm happy to present to you on behalf of Guinness World Records. Welcome back to the Guinness World Records Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome to AT&T Stadium. We are here for a Guinness World Records title attempt at the most around the world ball controls in one minute by a female. The record stands at 59, held by Laura Biondo from Venezuela. We have a challenger today, Indy Cowie, professional soccer freestyler. Welcome. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Now, I know you've held this category before at 53. Yes. And Laura Biondo has taken it to 57, and she's increased her own record to 59. That's quite a feat. Reckon you can beat it today. Confident, I like it. When you're ready, you can start the ball momentum. Go. Time. How do you think you did? Good. Good, you hope. Well, I can tell you, after consultation with the, uh, the replay, you achieved 60 and a new Guinness World Records title. Congratulations, really well done. Thank you. Brilliant. It's my pleasure to award a Guinness World Records title certificate. Congratulations, you are officially amazing. She did phenomenally well. She was utterly in control and it looked effortless. I'm rather jealous of that talent. Congratulations on your new Guinness World Records. We know how hard you work in your freestyle and the dedication it takes to become a world record holder. We're so proud of all your achievements and we can't wait for you to go home so we can celebrate. Go on, Well done, Andy. Amazing achievement. <laughs> the sky is full of it. Well done, Andy. We're all so proud of you. What's up, Indy? Congrats on the new world record. That's amazing. Uh, keep up the great work, and I can't wait to see what you do next. Indy, hope you had a great time at AT&T Stadium. Congrats on another world record. Indy, congratulations on that big achievement. It's never easy to break records, and you just killed it over there in Dallas. So my friend, please keep juggling that soccer ball and never stop sharing your magic with us. Congratulations, Indy. Hey, Indy. I hope you had an awesome time at the AT&T Stadium today. Congrats on the new Guinness World Record. I just want to offer up a heartfelt congrats the best freestyler that I know and one of the best freestylers in the world, Indy Cowie, for setting a Guinness world record. That is what's up. Indy, 
On behalf of the entire team here at at and we just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your hard work and effort. You're a phenomenal ambassador for the sport of soccer and a great partner to our brand. Congratulations on the new world record. Hi Andy, look who is. Helen and I would just like to say a very well done. You're a world record holder, fantastic achievement. I know how much work you put in and your determination is extraordinary but I'm really glad that you remember everything that I taught you. We're so proud of you. Have a great day and speak to you soon. Bye. What do you want to achieve next in your career? I want to break more records. Hopefully this is just the beginning. I mean, I after I tore my ACL, I was out of the game a little bit. And I, I'm back. I, I'm ready to, I'm ready to beat some more records. This is not the end.